of motion. Learning about third law of motion. Third law of motion. According to Newton's third law of motion, whenever one body exerts a force on another body, the second body exerts an equal and opposite force on the first body. The force exerted by the first body on the second body is known as reaction. It should be noted that action and reaction are just forces. We can now write another definition of Newton's third law of motion. To every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Action, force, and reaction, force, act on two different bodies, but they act simultaneously. We will now describe a simple experiment to prove the Newton's third law of motion. That is, to prove that action, force and reaction, force are always equal and opposite. We take two similar spring balances A and B and join them hook to hook. The other end of the spring balance B is attached to a hook H fixed in a wall. Let us pull the free end of the spring balance A to the right side by our hand. We find that both the spring balances show the same force of 4 Newton. This can be explained as follows. When we pull the balance A, it exerts a force of 4 Newton on the balance B. The balance B pulls the balance A with an equal force of 4 Newton, but in the opposite direction. In other words, when balance A exerts a force of action on balance B, then balance B exerts an equal and opposite force of reaction on balance A. Since both the spring balance show the same reading of 4 Newton, we conclude that the action and reaction forces are equal in magnitude. We find that the action force is acting towards east and the reaction force is acting towards the west. Thus, action and reaction forces act in opposite directions. It is important to note that even though the action and reaction forces are always equal in magnitude, these forces may not produce acceleration of equal magnitude. This is because each force acts on a different object that may have a different mass. When a bullet is fired from a gun, the force sending the bullet forward is equal to the force sending the gun backward. But due to the high mass of the gun, it moves only a little distance backward and gives a backward jerk or kick to the shoulder of the gunman. The gun is said to have recoiled. Conservation of Momentum Suppose two objects, two balls A and B, say of masses MA and MB, are traveling in the same direction along a straight line at different velocities UA and UB respectively. And there are no other external unbalanced forces acting on them. Let UA greater than UB and the two balls collide with each other. During collision, which lasts for a time t, the ball A exerts a force 
F A B on ball B and the ball B exerts a force F B A on ball A. Suppose V A and V B are the velocities of two balls A and B after the collision respectively. From, from equation, the momenta, plural of momentum, of ball A before and after the collision are MAUA and MAVA respectively. The rate of change of its momentum or FAB action during the collision will be MA bracket VA minus UA divided by T. Similarly, the rate of change of momentum of ball B is equal to FBA or reaction during the collision will be MB bracket VB minus UB divided by T. According to the third law of motion, the force FAB exerted by ball A on ball B action and the force FBA exerted by the ball B on ball A reaction must be equal and opposite to each other. Therefore, FAB is equal to minus FBA or MA bracket VA minus UA divided by T is equal to minus MB bracket VB minus UB divided by T. MAUA plus MBUB is equal to MAVB minus MBUB. This gives MAUA plus MBUB is equal to MAVA plus MBVB. Since MAUA plus MBUB is the total momentum of the two balls, a and B before the collision and MAVA plus MBVB is their total momentum after the collision. From the equation, we observe that the total momentum of the two balls remains unchanged or conserved provided no other external force As a result of this ideal collision experiment, we say that the sum of momenta of the two objects before collision is equal to the sum of momenta after the collision provided. There is no external unbalanced force acting upon them. This is known as the law of conservation of momentum. This statement can alternatively be given as the total momentum of the two objects is unchanged or conserved by the collision. Summary Third law of motion To every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction and they act on two different bodies. In an isolated system, the total momentum remains conserved. That is all in this lesson, students. Keep learning!